what's up guys it's Sean here back with another short video um, today we're gonna do a little review of this five-in-one survival bracelet that came from the wish app um, my wife actually got this for me as a stocking stuffer for Christmas I think it might be kind of cool um, we're gonna go out here test it out and I'm actually gonna see if I can use this to get a fire started now before we go out there I want to run over it with you real quick um, it has a button compass on it right here it's got a button compass on it it has a whistle on it it has about 10 foot of paracord on it it has a small fire steel and it has this little blade on it so we're going to go outside and see if we can use this thing to get a fire started let's go okay guys so here is the uh, survival bracelet that my wife bought me from the wish app um, it only cost a few dollars from wish and uh, let's check this thing out and see if we can use it to get a fire started now I understand that this thing only cost a few bucks the paracord is actually very strong paracord um, these pieces are you know hard plastic so whether or not they'll last that's yet to be seen and this little blade it comes somewhat sharp but it's not very sharp at all so I'm sure you could probably uh, touch it up a little bit and uh, see about putting an edge on it and I mean I can kind of feel a, a burr right there already so and the uh, compass it's got a little button compass on it as you can see it's not exactly accurate and it also has this whistle on it which the whistle is very it's actually very loud so and just so you know um, north is that way <laughs> so obviously the compass is not something you could depend on but it comes with this which is pretty neat it's a little uh, fire striker now I've tried it and it will throw a spark actually um, let me set this down so you can see it's a tiny little fire striker Whoop. it's a tiny little fire striker now one thing I don't like is for whatever reason they decided that the fire striker should be serrated and I would take my file take those serrations off of there where you'd have a nice flat edge to be able to strike with but today I'm gonna go against what I would normally do and since this is not something I'm gonna be relying on I'll just strike it on the back end of this uh, blade here so let's get some stuff together and uh, see if we can't get a fire started with this little paracord survival bracelet okay so I've got a little piece of fat wood here I thought we might try to see if I can use this blade and see if it'll make feather sticks Now, it's obviously working somewhat, and you want to be very careful to keep your fingers out of the way because the control on this is minimal at best. So, and you can see it's not exactly the sharpest thing in the world. But, it's actually working okay right here so that's not too bad let's see if we can strike it and make that light okay so I'm gonna take this tiny little fire steel here 
and the inside edge on this blade and see if we can't throw a spark and get this thing started. This is not going to be easy. Well, this is definitely not the, the easiest thing in the world to use. You see it will throw a spark every once in a while. There we go, we're starting to get somewhere. Oh, look at that. So we were able to actually make that thing work. I'm very surprised about that. So, with a little bit of practice, it actually worked. Okay, so my final assessment of this little paracord bracelet. Um, I just used it for a quick demonstration here and to be honest with you, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to even get a spark to, to work with it. As you've seen, it actually will throw a little spark. Would I have this as my you know, permanent everyday, this is what I'm gonna rely on bracelet? Um, no, I wouldn't. But it wouldn't be a bad idea to have as a last resort backup. Um, it does have the little whistle on it, which I'm not going to blow because it's, you know, really loud. Which, that's a good thing to have. Um, this button compass, it might as well not even be on there. The thing's not, it's not accurate enough to, it, it would get you in a bad situation. But, the little blade could be sharpened up enough to maybe be useful um you'd have to be very careful though because it, it was very dangerous um as small as it is now this striker back here actually worked it would work better if the serrations were filed off and this was a nice flat 90 degree edge um or if it was just a nice flat edge um as long as it was, you take the serrations off of it, it will be a little more um, capable of throwing a good spark, I think. Um, now, the little fire steel, it's a solid, I'd say probably eighth inch, maybe. It's not very thick at all. But it would, if you were using this as a last resort uh, piece of gear, might not be a bad thing for a few bucks. You couldn't hardly go wrong with it. Um, the paracord itself is, you know, it would be nice. I think there's about 10 foot of paracord here, if, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this is a clone of another uh, product out there, um, which I'm not going to say the name of it. But this is a clone of that. And I would imagine that that one may be a little more high quality than this one. Because, like I said, this came from the Wish app and it was only a few dollars but i'm actually pretty impressed with the fact that i was able to get uh that piece of fat wood started so um that's going to be the review for this little paracord survival bracelet i think it's called a five in one uh survival bracelet so um if you like these kind of videos comment leave a comment down there let me know what you think. 
Um, let me know if you've ever used one of these or maybe you got one of these for Christmas yourself. Um, I really like it. My, my wife is awesome. She's always uh, being very thoughtful and thinking of little stuff like this that might help. And she also thought, you know, this would make a good video to review. Um, and I've actually got a few more things coming that will be good review videos. So if you haven't already, like, subscribe, please share these videos. Sharing these videos would definitely help me reach more people. With the analytics and the way YouTube is, it's a lot easier for me to get more viewers if you guys share these videos. So if you like the video, please share it with your friends. Um, but thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.